Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this channel, we try to cover the most important uh, concepts in the field of AI and machine learning, and we hope that you find it useful. Today, we're going to talk about uh, elastic weight consolidation. Elastic weight consolidation, or EWC, is a technique in machine learning, specifically in the context of uh, neural networks, that helps to address the problem of catastrophic forgetting. What is catastrophic forgetting? Catastrophic forgetting happens when um, uh, we try to develop artificial neural networks that can learn continuously from sequential tasks. When a network learns a new task, it updates its weights based on the data and the feedback it receives. However, this process may overwrite or interfere with the weights that are important for previous tasks and can cause the network to lose the ability to perform well on both tasks. Um, if you want to make a similar example in real life, um, it would be when a human forgets how to ride a bike after learning how to drive a car. And like an example for the field of computer vision, uh, we can think about a time that um, the system that can recognize different animals may forget how to recognize cats after learning how to recognize dogs. Therefore, it is important to have machine learning systems that can overcome um, this catastrophic forgetting problem and retain knowledge from previous tasks while um, learning new ones. As a solution, EWC or elastic weight consolidation comes into play. Uh, EWC resolves this problem by making the process of um, new tasks as elastic as possible. It means it slows down learning on certain weights of the neural network that are important for previous tasks. And um, the intuition behind that is that EWC is similar to the way, way human learn, humans learn. Um, Imagine we try to retain what we have learned about past tasks. We try to accommodate new information without letting the new information completely overwrite the old information. Imagine that plane A is a surface where the model has minimum loss for the old task. And plane B is a surface where the model has the minimum loss for the new task. The model's goal is to find the lowest point on both planes, which represents the best performance on both tasks. However, the planes are not parallel, as we can see here. Uh, and they are um, kind of tilted and intersecting. This means that the lowest point on plane E is not necessarily the lowest point on plane B. If the model moves from plane A to plane B, it will increase its uh, loss on the old task and vice versa. This is the problem of catastrophic forgetting. Um, let's see how EWC solved this problem. EWC adds a penalty term to the model's loss function. This is the model's loss function, which is composed of two components. The first one is the standard loss function for the current task and the penalty term um, which is added here uh, is for from the for the previous task, which is um, a quadratic function that penalizes the deviation of the model weights from uh, the pre their optimal values for the previous task. The penalty term is like adding a spring between the model and the lowest point on plane A. The spring pulls um, the model back to the plane A, while the loss function pushes the model down to plane B. And the strength of the spring or these penalty terms depends on how important the weights are for um, the old task, which is measured by the Fisher information metrics. Fisher information metrics can be estimated using previous task and is shown here by F. And the more important the weights are, the stronger the spring is, meaning that the Fisher information matrix is higher. So EWC assigns a larger penalty to more important weights from before and a smaller penalty to less important weights. Uh, theta here is, um, represents the current values of the weights and theta 
star is the optimal value of the weights for the previous task. And lambda is a hyperparameter that controls the strings of the penalty. Um, so by adding the spring or the penalty term, EWC makes the model balance between staying close to plane A and moving towards plane B, which here we can show it with the red arrow. This is like the optimal solution for us. And the model will find a point that is not too far from the lowest point on either plane, which means that it can perform well on both tasks. This is how EWC prevents catastrophic forgetting and enables continual, continual learning for the system. Just keep in mind that CWC might perform better when the tasks are more similar than when they are different. Um, here is the end of um, today's episode. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions and see you next time.